So the purpose of today's video is to look at some Danish traffic lights in Copenhagen. So these are some older incandescent lights, there we go, made by Peak Signals, who also made traffic lights for the UK. Hey, as a matter of fact, there's also some LED traffic lights around here, and you'll also notice that here in Copenhagen they like to use um, suspended traffic lights from wires, just like they do in the States. Which I think they still do that in some parts of the States, I wouldn't know, I've never actually been there. You see there, on the right there you can see that Swarco unit with the white lines. I'm not 100% sure what those are for. I think they might be a priority light for buses. But like I say, I'm not actually sure. And next to it is another incandescent peak traffic light. Here in Copenhagen there are a lot of cycleways which have the, their own traffic lights, so these little mini uh, peak signals traffic lights made specifically for the uh, made specifically for the uh, the bike paths. I think that's pretty awesome. Hmm. Oh, I think that's pretty awesome. So you can see there the small bicycle traffic light next to a, uh, a the large full size peak signal for the uh, for the road. Yeah. There are these fairly cool pedestrian signals which have a little countdown timer on to tell you how long you're going to have to wait to cross the road and then it goes and then you've got this green timer that tells you how long the uh, green man's up for. Now not every cross point has these, in fact very few do in fact, most just have a standard red and green man but I have seen a couple of these around and they're peak signals as well. And the other thing is no crossings here have buttons. They just go when the time's up. There's no crossing buttons. This is just a, uh, a sound this is just a sounder device that makes noise and a slow beep means wait and a fast beep means go. Fairly simple really. Another bike light. The main traffic lights are red as well, so I can cross. Little bike lights just gone green for that way. Oh, and there's the clock tower for a quarter past eight. Yep, good, we can keep going. And up there, with both traffic lights and bike light by Swarco. LED. Yeah, so here's just a Swarco pedestrian light. And as you can see, this one's just a straight red and green man, and that's what a lot of the crossings have. Over there are some more Swarco LED traffic lights. Those are the full size ones for the road. The other thing you'll notice is a lot of traffic lights around here don't always have the uh, the hoods, the sunshade hoods, which is definitely not a good thing because they really should have. Oh look, there's one uh, over there that's got directional arrows on, which is uh, pretty cool I think. Oh yeah, that's it, just went green.
Definitely there's a bus priority signal, giving the bus permission to go before all of the traffic is let through just a moment later. Here's just a pedestrian crossing. I have to press the button on this one. Well, there are some crossings in Copenhagen where you do have to press the button. This one makes a different noise as well. thing to show you is these flashing orange lights. These you find suspended above uh, pedestrian crossings and they basically do the same job as the British Belisha beacon and you get those um, in other places around the world as well. But instead of a Belisha beacon you just get these two alternating flashing orange lights hanging above the crossing. Very interesting.